Dixie Dukes is in the house! So, Axie Dukes, why haven't you talked about Homeland? And I'd be like, oh man, Homelander is disgusting. I can't stand the guy. I can't wait for him. Oh, you mean Axie Homeland. Sorry, my mistake. Timestamps in the description down below. Yeah, I have something to say about it. What do I have to say about Homeland? Yes, I've been playing. I was like top 200 on the leaderboard, I think, for a little bit. Let me see. I'm, I'm probably not now because uh, I didn't play for two days. I'm at 784 now. I was like top 200 for a bit. But what do I have to say about Homelands? Well, number one. First of all, this first section is going to be stuff, uh, I think, in general. My grievances. And then the second section is going to be like, what would I change? Or like, how could I improve the game? Or improve quality of life while playing the game. Number one, I think the three starters should be unlocked out the gate. You don't really start having fun until you have at least three axes. When you have two, it's a snooze fest. Number two, the descriptions of the buildings and tooltips are absolutely useless. They'll be like, hey man, you need to build the building that unlocks this to unlock this what the hell am i supposed to build what what do i build <laughs> like what number three the learning curve when you start playing is a little bit steep you don't know hey i need to have this thing researching 24 7. like if this thing's not researching i'm losing the game basically like it doesn't really explain that in great detail yeah so the importance of those so number four, the UI is horrible. Can you just look at this? If you just look at this, would you look at this? Just look at this. Uh, let me move my webcam, look. So first of all, okay, oh. This up here, it, it says Axie Dukes YouTube, one plot, and then below it says Axie Dukes YouTube, and then the plot number, and then it shows you, I am now metalwork, because I decided to go towards metalwork, and that is based off the land that you're on. You get to choose two pathways, kind of. Uh, and then Alt F, Alt P uh, lets us, if the, the, I'm pressing them right now, the hotkeys just, oh, there it goes. Sometimes the hotkeys just don't work. Uh, why can't I hide all that? Why don't I have a button that goes hide all so I can hide the settings, the camera and all, hide all that. I don't need the information 24 seven. So it just clutters up and hides so much information, right? Let me look at and observe my lands, right? We'll get to how we can change it in the second part. So the things that are easily accessible. So number number five, the things that are that should be easily accessible are like hidden behind like certain areas. Like, let me explain. The most important part of the game, I think, is the auction house. We have to click here and we have to go to auction house. I didn't know that it, the auction house existed for like the first two and a half, three hours of the game. And I was like, wait, I can sell stuff instead of just discarding it if my inventory's full? Now I feel dumb. There's some some more, more problems. So uh, number six, the cost is too high and the gameplay isn't that rewarding. Cheapest land you can get right now, you can get some uh, forest for like 1200 bucks. This game is not worth 1200 bucks. I'd rather play My Time at Porsche. I'd rather play Graveyard Keeper. I'd rather play Animal Crossing. There's a whole bunch of other games I could play that would be much more rewarding than this. This is new, and I like the art style, and has a lot of stuff going for it. But the cost is too high. It, the proportion of like the cost and rewarding gameplay, I don't know. Number seven, uh, it's super boring from a viewer's perspective, which makes the game not very streamable. It's not a great game to stream live. Whenever I do play this game, my viewership just immediately tanks just no nah, i'm not interested in it because the cost is so high and blah 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 number eight the viewport has unnecessary items and you can't customize the viewport right so like why do i need this 24 7 uh i understand why you would want this but you don't need this all all the time i should be able to disable my entire HUD and re-enable it if I want to, right? Like if I just want to like look around and observe, I don't want all this stuff cluttering my viewport, right? Number nine, the tech tree is very vanilla. And the tech tree, we can go by going to our altar and hitting research. We have all these different things. All of it's, it's kind of vanilla because it's not like Path of Exile where if you go down a certain node, or a series of nodes, you can't access other nodes. If you want to go proficient in like say multi-hit or bouncing, like ricochet, 
you have to go down this path a certain way, which means you cannot go down this other path. And this tech tree isn't like that. It's more like everybody will have to research all of these eventually at some point. And so it's like, here's your list of stuff you need to do. Instead of it being like, oh, would you like to make your axes more proficient at gathering wood or stone? Only choose one because you can't go back. That's the kind of stuff I would like to see in the tech tree. Not just like, this improves the storage of your lumber place. This increases the size of your pebble pile. This makes it to where you could have two pebble piles. You're just gonna research them all eventually. So it's just like a chore list to me, right? It doesn't, there's no really personalization in there. D does that make sense? Is that making sense? Am I making sense? I hope I'm making sense. Number 10, uh, the top down angle of the game is kind of wonky, right? So we, this is our plot. And if we go to our build mode, which is C, I guess C for construct instead of B for build, we can see the only building I can actually build is the only one I haven't built yet. So once you understand that, it does become a little bit easier once you've overcome the learning curve. This tells us I need 120 stone and 120 wood. So it needs I need 60 wood to uh, build this building. And it it's going to take one minute, 30 seconds in real time. That's how long it's going to take. And then I can build, build roads. And the road building is wonky. You can see where I have a road right here, even though it's connected right there. It's not connecting right here for whatever reason. And like, it's just... Uh, and they're not straight lines and you can only really do them like kind of like this way if it feels kind of weird right so when we go into our build mode like i was saying let me go and build this build or actually we can just move a building and show you if i click on a building i can you can just move a building at any point which i think is a great feature because we can move our pebble piles right next to some stones and have them harvest the stones really quickly and they'll deposit the stones in the pebble pile but some of these buildings it's just wonky right so this is our plot this internal so out outside here we we have all these trees and stuff like that we can't control them and how they spawn we don't really want to stop them from spawning right because if we if our axes have to physically travel to another plot to get resources which we can like hey, hey mine this guy's gemstone mines before he does i can do that right but you want to mine the stuff that's closer see we have some axes coming in into our, our plot here because right now i'm having very uh hysterically i'm having i'm mining all this wood that's in the, like the center of the area like all of it it's all mine it is taking them an ungodly amount of time these resources if we click on them and click information we have a 76 percent chance of getting 18 wood when they mine it so instead of bringing four wood or three wood they have it can bring you know 20 which is five times but it might take them like six times longer so we but i want to see if we mine all these this stuff oh this just grew back huh well well i was hoping that if we mined all these trees there would be something here that was revealed so i'm still still going to try to do that but I don't know if that's part of the game. My problem is we can right click and we can move around, but this is as far as we can zoom out, right? And sometimes we have stuff that's obstructed by this here and this tree line, which we have no control over. It's part of like the map. We sometimes cannot click on like resources, like how this resource is kind of hidden. I would like to be able to use arrow arrow keys to be able to move. Like you're supposed to right click and drag, but you can't. This is as zoomed out as you can get. If you're zoomed in, you can right click and drag around. But I can't view these corners. I it, it just kind of bugs me that I can't see this bottom corner at all. There's a bunch of resources there that I can never mine. So it's really tilting. So I think a more control where I can use the arrow keys and kind of move around would be good, right? So number 11, without some way to, uh, to set my place apart, like aside from the location of my buildings, like it feels kind of kind of like silly. Like everybody is going to build all of the same buildings all the time, right? Because the tech tree, and it goes back to the tech tree problem. Everybody's place is eventually going to have all the buildings just in a different orientation. You see what I'm saying? Instead of it being like, oh, if you build the metal worker so you can make swords for this, this is not what they're called in game. But if you build the metal worker, then you can't build armor, which means you have to buy armor off the marketplace. That would be interesting. And that would build like a simulated economy. Uh, number 12. Uh, I don't think it's sparking a competitive interest at all. There is a leaderboard and there are rewards for the leaderboard, but unless they're, the rewards are significant, like imagine if there's a wipe for this, which I imagine there's going to be, 
you work on this similar to Tarkov and you grow a bunch of stuff and you uh, research everything and you do really well and you you get a bunch of AXS rewards or something like that at the end of the season. And then this is wiped. Would you do it again? I think a lot of players wouldn't, right? And I think a lot of people, which puts the emphasis on the cost is too high. It's just another burden or barrier for new players to get into the game. Like it already costs like 1300 bucks to play. Okay, if you can top the leaderboard, get really lucky, uh, plan your stuff well, never miss any time your stuff perfectly, like manage your stuff and you you get like first place and then you get a bunch of rewards, then maybe that's for some people, but it's gonna be hard to get new players into this game. Number 13, I thought I was going to be able to fight monsters. And that's my biggest grievance. I thought I would be able to have my axes instead of just the starters. You can see it's all starters at the bottom. Why am I not able to use my axes to go to dungeons and like fight monsters? I thought it was going to randomly spawn monsters on random plots. Like like every like 13 minutes or something. Somewhere on the, on the map, right? So if we zoom out, we can zoom out even further, right? So I thought... Like every 13 minutes, it'd be like, a chimera has been summoned, boom. And you had to get your axes there, right? And fight that monster. And then he had a chance to drop like AXS and stuff. That kind of covers my basic grievances. Let's go into the second section now. What would I change? Number one, let me disable the user interface. Let me decide what I see. Why do I need this alt P thing if I only own one land? Why does this have to be here? Why can't that be in just another another menu? Why isn't the important stuff? Like, why aren't these just always right there? And the map right there instead of this junk and this junk. This is a quest log for your altar level. And here is a quest log. Why aren't they side by side right here? Why aren't they side by side? And why isn't it Q for quest instead of O? Why isn't it Q for quest that opens up the newcomer quest? And maybe we have a tab here that is our daily and weekly quest, right? It could all be together, right? We could have newcomer. Maybe you have a tab here and that's your other quest or something. Like it, I don't understand why it has to be like all over the place. Oh, it looks like our building finished. Yeah, our building fish, we are level three. So now we have a bunch of extra research. You see tier one, tier two, and tier three. And now we can research the three tier three pebble pile to make increase the storage capacity of it. Or we could go into it and we can go to equipment. And now we can finally make equipment believe, I believe. Now we can make the hammer hut and the protector's pledge, right? So if we go to build, we can go to protector's pledge. We don't have enough wood yet. So we need to get our guys on mining wood that's on our plots. So let me disable this. I would like to see all of these on the right side, right here. I would like this map over here. I want all of this junk gone and hit it in another menu. And I would like the auction, the auction house right here next to my resources. Oh, I need wood. Click. Sometimes it doesn't. Let me let me see. Auction house. You. It's working now. It's making me look bad. Sometimes the, the hotkeys just don't work. It might have been a server issue. That might have been a server issue and nothing with. But I would like to declutter my screen. And I would like the stuff that I care about on the screen, right? I would like these all across the bottom. Every single one. I shouldn't have to go open a second page. I should have all of these on the bottom. All of these on the right. And the map on the left. Both the quests side by side. That's what I think. And I think the settings button should be in the top, very top left hand corner, like it is on like a right hand corner, like it is on like everything, like windows and stuff. So uh, number two, what's with the hotkeys and why does the scroll work inverted how it should? Look, if I, if I scroll, if I scroll out, it zooms in. If I scroll in, it zooms out. And it's backwards. Why? It's like, oh, it's driving me it was crazy. Give me an option to change my key binds. Let me change these to whatever I want. That way, if I don't like the G for the post portal, why, why isn't it M for, for mail? Monomics. Player's bag, B for bag. That makes sense. Auction house is U. I have no idea why it's U. V for storage content. I don't understand. But they're all over the keyboard as well. They're not like in this huddled area. We have seven, we have L, 
Like, why isn't it all accessible with one hand? Why isn't it like in that cluster? So anyways, number four, layout is booty, to be honest. Like all of it. That kind of wraps into like what I just said about, can I have all my, my, my cue on the right side? and all of these on the bottom. I think instead of two pages of icons, just bring it down to one, bring this over here. Like you don't need this. You see this when you zoom out, right? Uh, so number five, why are there no sounds when your research is complete? It drives me crazy. Give me like a booting. Or maybe I have like, I can choose what sound you want if your, your storage is full and there's an error and your guy can't put your items he harvested into storage. What noise do you want? And have me like five options or something. Like, ba ding, ba doom, you know, whatever. Uh -uh. Whatever it is, there's no sounds. And it's like, it makes it hard for somebody that has multiple things going on to like, oh, that ding is my research is complete. I definitely click on here and make sure that this is actually researching something because it literally takes sometimes, uh, I don't know, uh, what is that? That's 26 minutes, so that's not that bad. But some of them, an hour and like 40 minutes. So give me a ding. Give me some noise. Let me, let me trim this, please. I know this is like kind of like, it seems like I'm whining, but I, somebody asked for this specifically, this type of video. So that's why I'm generating this content. Not no, This isn't fear, uncertainty, or uncertainty, and doubt. This is me, my honest, unfiltered, response to Axie Homeland as a creator. That's all this is. Uh, I like the game, obviously. I probably, I was like, I'm not top, uh, I'm still top 1000, but I was top top 200 for, for a while. Number six, can we get a moving bubble icon for idle worker, please? Can I get this glowing and highlighted? Maybe this sign flips back and forth like, hey man, you got a guy that's not working. You got a guy that's not doing anything. Or maybe our our axes like our axes are like across the map right now. But maybe like this guy right here is uh, upgrading this building, right? But when he's done, he should be like, hey, hey, hoo hoo, hey, hey, hoo, hey, hey, like looking straight at the camera, right? Hey, hey, hi, I'm not doing it. I I need some work, you know, something like that. Number seven, we need to be able to zoom out a little bit further because, like I said, some of the resources are like hidden. Like I can't click on any of these to mine. Like it, it like clicks on this stuff instead, right? Harvest a lot of these resources. And I would like to be able to have harvested everything on my land at one point, right? Just to get that satisfaction. And I'm denied that because I can't click on any of the trees right here. Even if I hide this, like sometimes it just doesn't let me. I don't know, it's wonky. Sorry, number eight, uh, on that same line, if I zoom out and I am looking for resources and I'm going down here, I'm like, oh, this guy, it's, it's fine one actually. It happens pretty frequently. Where this person, right here, right here, uh, this one, okay, this one's, a, might be, okay, this one's clickable, but sometimes these giant, like, hex code Linasian names are so big that they actually hover over a resource, so when you go to click on it, you're, like, trying to mine it. And then it takes you into their view and it's so tilting. Let's get to the auction house. So number nine, the size of the auction house doesn't make any sense. Um, they fixed it now. It's fixed, but it was like, eep. there was a problem where if you searched for something, it didn't matter. Like it's big silver ore and you click it. It like would just show the entire marketplace. So it looks like they resolved that. So bravo there. I like to buy silver ore whenever anybody lists it for one gold uh, because I think it's gonna be valuable later. But I would buy silver, anytime I saw silver ore for one gold, I would pick it up on the marketplace. I like the auction house. It looks like they fixed that issue so we can go and scratch that one. Number 10, being colorblind, all the colors are really similar to the point where it's like the buildings are almost too alike. They have a very solid and consistent color scheme. Being colorblind, it's really hard for me to tell the buildings apart. That's just that's just me. There are some buildings if you went to move them, it would just only show one square like one itty bitty square and not the location of the building. So it made it like really difficult placing buildings close together. So it looks like they resolved that. So like, bravo, you're already knocking stuff off the list, Sky Mavis. So uh, one thing I would like though, is when I'm, when I'm moving a building or if I'm placing a building, I could press Z to rotate it, right? But what is the building gonna look like when I place it there? Can I get like a, a hollow version of it? 
so I know what it's going to look like for aesthetic reasons. And also, we can only rotate them uh, this way and this way. It's not rotating around. I feel like that's just like a limitation that's arbitrary. Uh, number 13, uh, could we get a few different songs to rotate? Because the music is kind of like, it's okay. But when you're playing this for like eight hours, nine hours, trying to grind the weeklies, it's like... Can I get like seven or eight like chill songs that rotate out kind of like Minecraft does? So it's not like the one song being drilled into her head. Number 14, in the cuddle kitchen, why is everything so spread out? So this is the cuddle kitchen. If we go to craft, why is everything so spread out? Why do I have to do this? So I did see a trick, but you normally click here, you click the item, you click craft, you click here, click the item, click craft, craft this. If I go here, I click this and I click craft. Then I have to click here, then I have to click here and click craft. Why? Why doesn't it automatically just move to the, the first unselected queue? Like, and why can't I just hotkey these? Why isn't it just A, B, C, D, E, F, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, A, B, C, D, something like that. So I can just hotkey and press this. I cannot, I can't, my hand can't do that, man. I cannot play this game for an extended period of time. Somebody showed me a trick though. If you select the first one and you click here, you can just craft, 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 right? You have to select the last one to do that instead of the first one. But why doesn't it just automatically do that? And why isn't this hotkeyed? Like none of this is hotkeyed and it bugs me and it hurts my wrist going, like say, oh, you don't have enough of that? Okay, I have to cancel this. Why isn't it the cancel hotkeyed? Why can't, es sometimes when you hit escape, it doesn't do the right thing, right? Number 15, uh, goes along the same. A lot of the menus don't have hotkeys or tooltips. So it's hard to feel proficient at the game. So you always feel like a noob, right? Okay, another one, another grievance. Uh, number 16, the icons are huge over the building sometimes. So when you're trying to build something that's like really close together, like say this, say this building was here, it's hidden by this icon and you just don't know where that building's at. Can these icons be smaller and directly above the building? Or maybe it just has a, like the color wheel, like time thing around the building on the ground. So we don't like, that's why I have this building over here because whatever reason, this building is, tooltip is just gigantic and it right here it's covering the cuddle kitchen like why are they so big <laughs> that's what she said uh, okay so why is the road placement so funky number 17 right why is the road placement so let me look at this thing okay so i can zoom in which is the scroll wheel out but when i okay so what you would normally i messed up there because you use the right mouse click to like move, right? But when you're building the road and you go to move, it's it's the road, right? So I can build here. And, oh, I did it again. Let me revert that. Um, so if I want to build a straight road, I click here and it builds one at a time if I left click, which is fine. But see this problem here? Oh, it actually connected there. I guess this one just doesn't want to connect. Sometimes they just don't want to connect properly. Okay, is that making a zigzag? Yeah, it's not going to be. It's just wonky, man. But you can right click and drag. But sometimes the paths get crazy. Like this one right here would look all... No, thank you. Can I get just a visual? Just a visual preview of where I'm going to place it. Like when you're building a building, please. Like it won't let me place it. It won't let me place a road right there. You see that? Oh, whoops. It won't let me place a road right here, I guess, because it's too close to another road. <laughs> I don't know. It won't let me connect it. If it does, it's like wonky. Why is it so wonky? Because number 18 this is my last one. Uh, when I buy something in the auction house, why does it go directly to the history when I'm done? I don't understand the thought process behind that. Okay, so let's go to the auction house. Auction house, you, right? Uh, if I buy something, let's buy something. Let's buy some uh, some wood. I need some wood right now, I think. Uh, if I view all, you guys, 12 for sale. Let me go ahead and buy 12. Buy 12, and I confirm. Why does it go to my history? Because now I have to go back to buy, and now I have to search for wood again so I can get my 900 wood that I need. Why does it do that? Please don't do that. Why does it? Why does it do that? I, why does it do that? Why does it jump to my history? It doesn't need to jump to my history. And also, why 
in the auction house along the same lines. If I sell something in the auction house, let me see if I go to the auction house. If I go to my history, uh, I have some stuff that's arriving uh, in 40 minutes. This 12 wood will arrive. I guess that person's really far away. Why do I have to go to sold and claim those? Why do I have to claim the completed auctions? Why aren't they? Why isn't it automatic? Kind of wonky. I would like this uh, icon for idle axes a little bit bigger. I would like it to improve. So that's my list. I think that's all off the top of my head that I can think of. <laughs> so, so, I mean, it's fun. I am having a good time with it. Uh, I like the Harvest Moon feel. There's a bunch of stuff that we can do in the game. I would like to see uh, a tech tree that like splits you off. So it's not just everybody's going to end up doing the same thing anyway. Because what happens is you have one person. Everybody has all the resources all the time at some point. Right? So if I become a like proficient in lumberjack. And that later leads to me being able to craft axes. Whereas if somebody goes proficient in uh, gear development. And that would lead to them being able to make swords. So there would be like a difference and there'd be a reason for people to buy and sell on the marketplace. That's just me. Those are just my uh, quick thoughts on Axie Homeland. Uh, leave a comment down below. What do you think of Homeland? Do you think it's entertaining to watch? Am I wrong there? Uh, for me, it's not exciting to watch at all. Uh, as a viewer, not interested. And it's hard to keep me excited as uh, a content creator because it consumes so much time but there's so much time in between you doing stuff that you really it's difficult to make a video out of it right because you're like i'm gonna do this it takes like 10 seconds and then like 20 minutes later you do this so i don't know how i feel about it it's great to play for the uh like chill person if it was free if this was a free game this would be all right this would be a lot of blast this would be a blast if it was a free game but unfortunately, the cost of the barrier to entry is too high. I know at some point, and somebody's probably going to leave a comment down below, that they plan on uh, extending it to where people can play the game that don't own land. They can go around and harvest resources and stuff. It'll be interesting. Maybe that's what the big red square in the center is. I don't know. I'm excited to see what that is. So there's a lot in store. Uh, what do I feel, I feel about it? I'm down for the content. You know? So I'm all for Axie Homeland. But I don't own any land. so. And I'm not going to buy any. How can you tell somebody, hey, buy this $1,300 item, play this very vanilla game? I like the auction house. It's a lot. Uh, I used to play this game called Gazillionaire. <laughs> and I used to play the hell out of it. And I used to play the hell out of uh, No Man's Sky. And I played No Man's Sky for the economy within it. You know, you could go to one star system, buy those while they're cheap fly to another star system, sell those for like an exorbitant price and like make a bunch of profit. And it was a lot of fun. Uh, it's pretty similar to Gazillionaire. Gazillionaire is an old, old game. It's really showing my age here, but uh, it was a blast. You could, uh, you know, buy stuff, sell stuff, but you had to put stuff on the fuel. You only had so much space. Uh, you had to buy fuel. It took time to travel. Uh, so you had like the cost. Sometimes you could pick up passengers, which really helped. And you could transport transport them from one star system to another uh yeah it was a ton ton of fun but this is reminiscent of that i really like that aspect i've really always liked those since i was a kid i'm hooked the fact that i can't fight monsters kind of bugging me there's a lot in store this is the alpha tons of stuff in store i'm sure i do have one other grievance when we're in the game you can see we have a bunch of dots that represent trees on our map in, the, in this upper upper right hand corner and then we have uh, the other ones are stone, but it doesn't show gems. I would like maybe some type of system that tells me like, hey, there's there's a precious ore mine at this location or something. Or maybe you can see it on this map, but I can't because I'm colorblind. Maybe that's the problem. I was like, dang, Daniel. I would like a plot right next to one of these. Yeah, that'd be cool. Be like, what's in here? What's in this giant void? Is it a giant town where you can do all kinds of stuff? Oh, is there a bridge right there? Oh, that's neat. 
So anybody else has to cross that bridge to get into this like center area. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next one. Bum bum bum. Bum 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 bum.